Hello and, uh, and welcome to Anthony Gill's first ever virtual open evening. Thank you for tuning in and uh, thank you for the interest that you've shown in our school. I'm Malcolm Kelly and I've been privileged enough to be head teacher of AGS for the last five years. And I, along with everybody else connected to the school, hope that we can give you enough information to allow you to make the right choice by sharing with you just some of the reasons why we are so proud to call Anthony Gell our school. We thought the best way of doing this was to start with a live broadcast. That was until we tried to do it. So here I am broadcasting to you tonight from school at one minute past six nearly on Wednesday the 7th of October. Now I'll be able to tell you in about half an hour whether this was a good idea or not. Now we've all had to get used to new technology haven't we over the last seven months or so including taking part in virtual meetings with friends and family and work colleagues and you know what these can be like you're on mute switch your mic off switch your mic on along with a whole load of other phrases have entered our everyday language well tonight we're not just going to attempt to hold a meeting on screen for a few people we're going to try presenting to an audience of over 600 using pretty much the same technology that you've got available for you at home. So what I'm saying is, please bear with us. And I hope, I really hope I don't hit the wrong button. So there's no need for you to switch off your mics or your cameras tonight because they've been disabled already, which means that you won't suddenly appear on screen. And actually, you can sit and chat with each other and I won't hear what you're saying. For the next 30 minutes or so, I'll introduce you to some videos that we've made here in school and I'll try to cover some of the questions that you might have about moving school. Talking of questions, you'll see that we've got a live Q&A up right now. So if you're using a laptop, a PC or a tablet, the chat function is probably already visible on the right hand side of your screen. If you're using a mobile phone, you might have to hit a button to see the questions and the answers as they appear. And if you're not sure about any of this, just ask the 10 year old who's probably sitting next to you tonight. Um, if you'd like to ask a question at any time during my presentation, then please feel free. Just type that question in and we'll do our best to answer as many of these questions as we can and we'll display the answer on screen. It may be, though, that your question contains personal information. And if that's the case, we won't show those on screen, but you'll receive a personal reply to your question. Those of you that sent a question to me before we went on air tonight, keep your eyes peeled because those questions along with the answers will be part of our Q&A chat tonight. So let me give you a bit of background about the school. We're an 11 to 18 school with a highly successful sixth form as part of our school. And when I became head teacher of AGS back in 2015, I became only the fifth person who's held that position in the last 55 years since the school became one of the country's first ever comprehensive schools. And we're really proud to say that we're a comprehensive school and we've got the skills combined with the right approach to help children achieve well, regardless of their starting points. When I walked through lessons earlier today, I saw plenty of young people who will go on to excel at the best universities in this in this in this world who will challenge their teachers and do so in a good way to reach new academic heights. I also saw children in lessons who find reading and writing a real challenge. And I saw hundreds of children who fall between those two extremes. And to be honest, that's where I would have been too if I'd been in school now. So we've got the privilege of teaching and supporting all of those students. And we do this by differentiating our approach in order to provide the best education we can for all of them. And that's what a comprehensive school should do. Our inclusive philosophy and educational ethos is built around three key words, care, aspire and achieve. Now, I usually invite parents and carers who are interested in sending their son or daughter to AGS to come into school. I'd normally meet with you and show you around the school. We can't do that this year. So we thought, well, what can we do? So we wondered about getting a company in to present a 
as with a highly polished video. So I was about to pick up the phone and get all of that sorted, but then I realised that Ant and Deck are probably not available. And Stacey Dooley, well, she's probably too expensive now. So then I thought for a moment and realised, actually, this needs to be something which accurately reflects what it would be like if you were able to walk around school with me on a normal school day. So we decided, therefore, to create a couple of short films, both of which I'll share with you tonight, which were made by students and staff over the last couple of weeks here in school. In both films, you'll see students and staff from AGS and you'll get to see inside actual lessons rather than empty classrooms. So here's the first of the short films. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, I said things might go wrong and lo and behold, it looks like that's the case. Um, I don't think the volume came through, it only had sound on that first video, so I can only apologise. Um, the good news is those videos, uh, the, both the videos that we'll be using tonight are available on the website immediately after the presentation. Um, so um, you'll be able to get them there and they will have sound on them. Um, I'm really sorry, uh, that shouldn't have happened. We'll see what we can do in the background in the meantime. So when we get to the second video, we're hoping that will come on with sound. Um, OK, so when you were watching that, I bet as well as thinking, I wonder what they're saying, you were also perhaps looking at the fact that our children weren't wearing a uniform and they were in school. And that might be something that you focused on, particularly if you don't have a child here in school already. Now, in the UK, of course, we're used to seeing school children in uniform, so it does seem strange when we don't see them with uh, blazers and ties on and they're in school. My take on this is really quite simple. If I thought that not wearing uniform was having a detrimental impact on learning or was disadvantaging an AGS student in any way, then guess what? We'd have a uniform. So wearing uniform doesn't make somebody learn better. If it did, every university in the country would have its students dressed differently. Some parents and carers place school uniform high on their list of priorities and, and that's fine. These parents and carers sometimes choose another school because of this, which is also fine. As parents and carers, we've got to look for a school that we believe is right for our child. I ask people instead to focus on the relationships which are clearly evident and the sense of pride, which is really strong and the mutual respect which exists here at AGS. Now you've seen on the film clips about some of the lessons that we'd have here at AGS. And that brings me to talk about the curriculum that we offer. And initially the part of the curriculum which is covered in lessons. You heard me talk on the film, you would have done had you been able to hear me talk on the film, um, about the broader uh, 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 curriculum that we offer here in school. I talk about broad and balanced curriculum. Now that starts as soon as they walk through the door in year seven. There's a wide range of subjects. Some of them the young person might never have even had before. These subjects are taught by specialist teachers in specialist accommodation. It's a curriculum which is logically structured to enable children to remember more and to link learning within subjects and also between subjects. It's an ambitious curriculum designed to meet the needs of AGS students in the local, the regional and the international context. We always start year seven off with one language out of the two MFLs. They pick up the second modern foreign language when they're in year eight. Our students have got French and German to choose. Students take both languages up to and including A-level and, and Anthony Jell. We alternate which language you start with in year seven and this year coming up, so in 2021, year seven will start with German in year seven. So that's why it's in bold on the slide you can see on the screen now. But it's not just what goes on in lessons that's important. I think it's really important for all of us to get the opportunity to join in with different activities, to broaden our horizons and to develop our skills in a wide range of activities, both in and out of lessons. Now, smaller schools are great for getting to know each other and for it being easier to feel part of that school. But being in a small school can sometimes mean there are fewer extracurricular activities on offer because 
there's fewer staff to run these outside of lessons. Now, this was something I was acutely aware of when I joined AGS, but I was immediately impressed by the amount of extracurricular that was on offer in a school of this size as well. Now, the slide that's on the screen now for you, it gives you a few clues about some of the activities that we do here at AGS in addition to lessons. All of our children get the opportunity to do a very wide range of activities outside of lessons. Most of them are self-explanatory on this slide, but there's some that I think are there for everybody. You might see something on there that you might quite like to try. There's lots of trips on any normal school year, obviously not this one. Those trips include an exchange programme with our partner school in Germany, as well as various trips to France and other places on the continent and places in the UK as well. One of the pictures up there shows a sailing boat and that's because Anthony Jell has got three sailing boats that we own and we have moored at Carstington Water. Our children get a chance to learn to sail. And when they do know how to sail, as an AGS student, you get to use that boat free of charge outside of school time. In addition, you see lots of other things up on the screen now, don't you? What have we got? Lego Club, Robotics, Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths, Poetry Club, Computing, reading and loads more and that's in addition to the usual wide range of sports that you'd expect it says music mark on the screen now that might need some explaining because that's only just been added to our our program we were presented with the music mark award this year in recognition of the outstanding provision of music for young people in and out of lessons at ags now this came as a surprise to us not because we didn't think we did music or we didn't think it was good, but because we hadn't even applied for the award. We found out that we'd been nominated for this particular nationally recognised award by the Derbyshire Music Hub, and that makes it all, all the more special. So it's important, isn't it, for schools to carefully consider what they value and what types of skills, attributes that they are hoping to instill in the young people who go to their school. Now, we revisited this last year and in doing so, we asked our various groups of people what they thought. And this included staff, governors, parents, and of course, the students themselves. What they wanted a young person to be able to do, to, to, to be able to know and to be able to be like by the time they left Anthony Jail School is shown on the screen now. And these answers, the bigger they are, the more often they were said. But these give you a really good flavour as to what we're looking to, to create an environment for here in school, for this to happen. We were able to reflect on the answers that we got and it's helped to reinforce with us what we do and why we do it. It demonstrated clearly that schools should be much more than just learning facts and being tested on these at a later date. You'll no doubt spot things on this slide which mean a lot to you too. Perhaps there are attributes that you really value. Perhaps there are ones that you'd like to see in your own children. Isn't it important that schools create an environment where young people can develop and demonstrate these attributes? And looking at this has helped us to reshape what we teach as well as how we teach. We further developed our understanding of science and of learning the science of learning and facilitated conferences on this very subject with nationally renowned speakers coming to Worksworth in order to present. And we've made these training sessions available to all of our partner schools in Derbyshire. That's the secondary schools we work closely with and they've been really well received in those schools as well. We're really proud of the fact that young people leave Anthony Jail well equipped for the future, ready to contribute to the world in which they live with choices about what comes next. They've developed into well-rounded individuals who've got the ability to make a difference. And just as importantly, they've got the confidence to try. They also leave us with results that they can be really proud of. The results achieved by AGS students at GCSE and at A-level are comparable to those achieved by students in some of the best schools in the country. Our GCSE results 
consistently placed us as one of the best performing schools in Derbyshire. The results you see on screen right now are our 2019 GCSE results. Because of what happened in 2020, these 2019 results are the last set of externally verified results that any school can use. And that's why I'm showing you them tonight. You'll see that it states that we achieved a positive progress eight. Now this means that our children achieved higher grades than expected in eight or more subjects from across the curriculum. On average, our students finish year 11 with between nine and 10 GCSEs. Now I've taken this data from this, that I've shown you on this slide from a government website that allows you to view school league tables. You'll be able to log on to this yourself if, you're, if this is something that interests you and see more detail on there. Now the majority of our students finish year 11 and go into our sixth form here at Anthony Gell. And the results that these students achieve in sixth form are equally as impressive. We actually offer a range of courses in sixth form, one and two year options, but most of our children choose a two year A-level route. And you can see on the screen now, a summary of our 2019 A-level results. Now this slide shows how our students achieved at the very highest level. These are the students who achieved A or A star grades at A level. And this is how they did in relation to other schools across the county. Now we're equally as proud of the achievements of all of our six formers. And we think it's important that the full range of passes are recognized. So this slide now shows what it was when all of our A level results were included. And these were transferred into points as they are in every school. And this slide shows you how we compared with every other school in Derbyshire when we looked at average point score in 2019 at A-level. The boys, by the way, were insistent that I showed you this slide. Now, there's lots more statistics in comparison to A-level performance and completion rates on the government website of school league tables. You may want to look at these later on. If we go back to the slide, which I showed you earlier on, you'll see that there's been a couple of things added. Now I read an article last year, which has resonated with me for quite some time. The article was called The Forgotten Third. And this article focused on what happens if schools get fixated on catering for just a small number of their students, a particular type of student, or perhaps they get the curriculum wrong or the school gets too large. Perhaps there's an attempt to force all students, or even almost all students, down the same narrow pathway. What happens there is many of these youngsters will fall by the wayside and some will struggle, often in silence as the urge to comply is, is so great. But the danger is that what's happening in some schools actually is impacting on one in three young people in the country. That's what this particular article was talking about. So you're fine, aren't you, if your child is one of the two that you can see, but somebody's child is the one sitting on the end who's gone unnoticed. Now this should never happen in schools. And it's another reason why we are so proud about what we managed to do here at Anthony Gell. We're a school who cares for every young person, a school in which Young people know each other. They know the adults who in turn know them. And the adults who work hard to make sure that nobody's left behind. Had you been here with us tonight at this point in the evening, I'd be inviting you to start a tour of the classrooms and have a look at our school. During any open evening, the tours of a school are usually to large empty classrooms. So in nor any normal year, I actively encourage parents to come and visit AGS on a normal working day and that way you can get to see what the school looks like in action and you can get to experience what it actually feels like, which is really important. Obviously, we can't do that. If we could, I'd be asking you, well, what bits do you want to see? And then we'd go and see those parts of the school. Any school can select the best looking classrooms or take visitors to only the best of lessons but we are not just any school. We're certainly not perfect, but we are confident in what we do and we're always honest and we're always open. 
So we want to give prospective AGS families a true sense of what to expect. And our videos tonight reflect that philosophy. One small but significant difference in the tour you're about to take, fingers crossed, is that you'll be arriving by helicopter and leaving by helicopter. Now, again, we hope the sound will come through this time. If it doesn't, the videos will be available afterwards, but let's keep our fingers firmly crossed and see if we can go on a tour of AGS this time with sound. This is the main school hall. In here we have assemblies, dance lessons and you can even watch one of our amazing school productions. At the moment, Year 10 are being taught in here. From here you can get to many different places such as the pastoral base. This is where the pastoral managers work. Each one is assigned to one of our houses and helps the students out. So the AGS pupils have a dedicated pastoral manager to support them. Just next door to the pastoral base is the music room, a vibrant area where students can learn and improve their musical talents. And back through the hall is where the art department is based. on the other side of the art room and at the moment this is where us year sevens are based. But at Gel everyone gets to spend time being creative and it's amazing how much you can learn about yourself through your artistic abilities. Welcome to Techbot. This is where you um, currently are. But normally, this is where you will learn to use a lathe, cook a meal, and work on becoming a thespian. There is a fantastic range of equipment here, and in years seven to nine, you get the chance to do a bit of everything. Once you get to GCSE, you can take your learning further if you enjoy technology. Just across the way are the language classrooms. We study French, German here, and sometimes go on exchange trips to different countries and meet different families of the world. When you move up from primary to secondary, you get to do lots of different subjects like physics, algebra, chemistry and probability. We have fantastic fully equipped science labs and specialist teachers who can help us develop our expertise in these subjects. Welcome to Gel Block. This is where humanities and sixth form are based. Here you will find people studying history, geography and RE, as well as us studying for our A-level and B-Tech courses. Here you may also find the library, where there is a great range of books for us to use. And just at the other side of Gel Block, there is our fantastic, newly converted, dedicated IT building schoolhouse. This is where there are a range of high-tech computers, where all students get the opportunity to have lessons. Sporting facilities Anthony Jar Superb. We have a wide range of all weather astro pitches. The minor hall and access to Works with Pleasure Centre provide a range of sporting opportunities for all. We 
usually have school sports teams for football, hockey, netball and athletics. We do PE lessons in every year and get to use the facilities throughout our time at Jeff. No tour of the school would be complete without a visit to the canteen. This is where you can get break time snacks and healthy lunches, all served by our fantastic and friendly kitchen staff. The food is delicious with lots of choice, and it's a great place to hang out with your friends whilst you're eating. So, I hope you enjoyed that really quick tour of our school, and a chance to get to meet some of our fabulous students. There's lots more information on www.anthonygel.co.uk. Please have a look there uh, as and when you need to know more. For now though, take care, stay safe, and we hope to see you soon. Bye for now. So that was a look around uh, our school and uh, I'm, I'm told you had sound that time perhaps. Um, it showed you some of the fabulous facilities there that we have at Anthony Gel and uh, you might just be able to hear in the car park just down from me here, we've got people leaving um, having used some of those facilities because we, we share them with the community here because they're that good. Um, so we've got some youngsters just leading the AstroTurfs now and heading off home uh, as I speak. So that video there showed you a little bit about what the school looked like the other day when we took the video camera around some of the classes. Um, perhaps, perhaps by now you're beginning to see why I think I'm really lucky to be able to work in this school. It's a school full of great people. It's a school full of people who care about what they do and they care for each other. It's a school which provides a great platform for everybody to achieve. It's a school which gives young people the courage and the skills to achieve their goals. And actually, it's not just me who thinks that about AGS. So the slide that I hope you can see on screen now is, is showing you a few snippets from the lovely emails and letters that we received from parents and carers whose children started at Anthony Jail last year. Now we really value feedback from parents and we always provide parents with an opportunity to complete questionnaires at parents evenings here in school. These questionnaires are completed and submitted anonymously, enabling people to com be completely honest with their responses. So the slide that's now on show gives you an idea of the responses to just one of those questions from one of those questionnaires. The question was, what would you say Anthony Jill's biggest strengths are? And those were the answers. Those were all the answers. The size of the answer indicates how many people said that. Obviously, if more than one, the font got bigger. But it gives you a flavour, doesn't it, of what parents say about us. So, I'm going to finish soon and I'll leave you to explore the resources that we're making available for you on the website. I hope you enjoy looking at those resources together. And I hope that they help you to make a good choice when it comes to the right secondary school for you. Don't forget though, whichever school you choose, register your choice online at the Derbyshire County Council website. It's the school admissions tab. It only takes a couple of minutes to do that, but it's a really important couple of minutes. Please make sure you don't miss the deadline that's set by the County Council of the 31st of October because any applications that they receive after the 31st get placed lower in terms of priority. And this means that you actually might end up missing out on a place at the school of your choice. And for the last few years when we've been oversubscribed, we've had that. Sometimes with people that live close to the school and they end up having to go to appeal to get their child into school, which is what we don't want anybody to have to do. So please make that deadline. If you've enjoyed this evening and you think you'd like to ask me more questions about Anthony Gell, see if you can persuade your head teacher to set up a Zoom meeting or a Teams call for me and you and the rest of your class with parents and carers online at the same time. Now, we did this the other night with Bonsall Primary and 
once we got the tech to work, that went really well. So perhaps it's something that you'd like to happen at your school. If so, talk to your head teacher about it, talk to your class teacher about it, and we'll see if we can get that arranged in the next couple of days. Now, we're going to try and go back to the video that failed at the start. Now, fingers are even more firmly crossed at this point, and I'm reminded that even the BBC don't get it right all of the time. Sometimes when they go to a, v a VT or they go to an outside broadcast, it doesn't work. That doesn't make me feel any better right now because I'm, I'm really disappointed that it didn't work for you. But when I finish talking, we'll go to the video that you didn't hear the sound of first time round. When that video finishes this time, that'll be the end of the live presentation. I hope it's given you a decent start to your virtual open evening. I hope it's given you enough to think about. I hope it's given you uh, a good platform on which now to talk about and to discuss and to look for more information. The good news is you're able to do this at home. You haven't even had to leave home tonight and come to school here. The other bit of good news is that during all of this bit, I've been talking to camera, you've not even had to work out which one's Ant and which one's Deck. Take care, everybody. Please continue to stay safe. All the best. Welcome to the very first Anthony Gell School Virtual Open Day. As visits to the school this year are very limited, we wanted to give you the opportunity to get to know who we are, what we stand for, and how we look after and guide young people through their formative years. Anthony Gell is a high achieving secondary school based in the picturesque town of Worksworth. We welcome students aged 11 to 18 and have a vibrant and successful sixth form. We're a school like no other. Anthony Gell is an inclusive school and most schools say they're inclusive, but actually inclusive means making sure that nobody gets left behind. I think it's important to set a school which is safe and secure. Young people feel safe and secure in the school when they feel like that, they feel happy and they're in a good place to start to learn. Academically, AGS has been improving year on year. We've been consistently rated as a good school by Ofsted and inspectors have highlighted many outstanding features in their most recent visits. This is in no small part due to the high standards of academic excellence. Our results are strong, they're improving. I've been here for 20 years now and the thing that's been consistent and it continues to be is that we treat every student as an individual. So by sending your children here, you can be really assured that we will get to know your children really well and their education will be based around that. One of the things that is massively important to us is that we're growing young adults and that are ready for the world ahead of them. Part of that is obviously academic progress. For example, at A-level, uh, our students routinely now are achieving in the top 25% of like schools nationally. But what's more important than that is that actually, no matter how able a student is, they're actually having successful transitions. They're going on to college placements, to apprenticeships, to university courses and to work at the full range of institutions. And we couldn't be more proud of that. At Anthony Gell School, we believe in having a broad and balanced curriculum. When they join us in year seven, they get to do 20 different subjects from all over the curriculum. Um, so they'll do a range of sciences, they'll do a range of technologies, a range of arts, as well as the traditional subjects that you'll be more familiar with. That curriculum in year seven uh, continues into year eight, uh, and then in year nine, they start to select a curriculum. But unlike some schools, they get to choose options that suit them. They get to choose more than one technology subject, for example, or more than one practical subject, if that's what they want to do and if we feel that's the best thing for them. We're passionate about our Key Stage 3 curriculum being three years long. Our youngsters arrive in year seven and through seven, eight and nine, they will all study this broad range of subjects. We don't start GCSEs early. We don't ask them to opt in year eight because we firmly believe actually the right thing for them is to be able to experience this wide range of subjects for as long as possible before they have to make decisions about where they start to specialise. The breadth of a curriculum is such that, that there's enough in the school to be able to appeal to every single young person um, and be able to equip them with the skills and the learning and the knowledge that they need in order to be successful in life. 
As well as aiming high academically, we underpin this with a comprehensive system of supporting our students pastorally to help them reach their full potential. Our staff work hard to create an environment in which students feel safe and happy with teaching and support staff working alongside a team of specialist pastoral managers. One of the most important things about pastoral care is about developing that relationship with the child so they feel confident enough to come and speak to you about any issues and parents as well really because that's what we need for them to bring up and to speak to us about the issues that we can share and the knowledge to make sure that we put all the pieces of a jigsaw together to ensure that we know all the students needs. When the passion manager is dealing from year 7 to 11 they see all aspects from you know the, the growth of that child and um, to be able to develop their their needs really. The extracurricular that I do at ADS is, um, well, it's, it's rock school. So it gives the opportunity for young people who are just starting out on instruments or been playing instruments for a long time to get together and practice and learn new songs, uh, all sorts of things really in terms of music. They basically make a band and play along together as a band. I think extracurricular activities are as important as lessons because for me, although I obviously did chemistry lessons and went on to become a chemistry teacher, it changed me massively. Um, I did things like did school plays, I did a rock school type thing when I was at school, I was in drama clubs and things like that. And it gave me the confidence to so now go on, I'm in a, in a few bands and I've been around the country, been to other countries playing in the bands and basically shaped my life, basically. If I hadn't done those things, I wouldn't have done all these things, you know, as an as a adult. So really important. At Anthony Gel, we place great importance on including parents in every step of their child's educational journey. I've had three children come through Anthony Gel School. So the um, youngest is now just going to the sixth form and I've got two that have gone away to university. Anton Gell feels like a really special school because of its community links and because it's small enough to be able to uh, know all the children individually and because of the effort that the teaching staff and the support staff put into making sure the children are happy. It has really, really strong results, really impressive set of results and a really good system of pastoral care. Teaching staff really seem to go the extra mile and really know the children, that's really evident from parents' evenings and from feedback that we get through the school.